Uploading listings to Etsy one by one is exhausting. The mock-ups, the descriptions, the titles, it can take hours just to get a few listings live in your Etsy shop. But what if I told you I just uploaded 25 products in minutes? <gasps> In today's video, I'm going to show you how I am doing that with Anywhere POD's bulk upload tool. By the end of this video, you are gonna see how this tool is going to save you so much time. It's gonna help you avoid burnout in your Etsy shop. And most importantly, it is going to free up time for the parts of your business that help move the needle forward, like more market research and more designing for new products. And if you stick around to the end, I have an exciting freebie to give you from Anywhere POD. Hi, my name is Emily. I am a six-figure Etsy print-on-demand seller and busy mom of two, and I absolutely love helping others start, grow, and scale their own Etsy print-on-demand shops. Now, when I started my Etsy shop, I was still working full-time, juggling two young kids and everything else in between. The most tedious part of my workflow when it came to working on my Etsy shop was actually listing the products. I'd sit down after a long day, and after I had done three to four sets of mock-ups and listings and titles and descriptions, I was honestly ready to quit. I loved the research part. I loved the designing and the creating, but then came time to actually create those mock-ups, download them, upload them to Etsy, write all my titles, write all my descriptions. And that's where I often felt myself get stuck and stalled. And the truth is, a lot of sellers burn out in this step, not because they can't design and not because they can't find product ideas, but because the back end administrative works takes up so much of their time. And that is exactly why I love Anywhere POD so much. It's a print on demand partner that integrates directly with Etsy and with print suppliers like Printify. And this bulk upload tool has been a total game changer for me. Instead of listing one product at a time, I can list dozens of products and then they automatically sync with Printify for fulfillment. All right, so enough talk about how much I love this tool. I'm now gonna jump over into Anywhere POD and show you exactly how it works so you can spend less time worrying about admin details and more time creating for your Etsy shop. We are here in Anywhere POD. This has truly become one of my favorite tools because it has essentially become my whole listing process. Now you can see here, you can connect multiple things to your Anywhere POD account. We have your Etsy shop. You can connect your Canva account, which is so incredible. You can connect OpenAI so that you can help use AI to generate your SEO. And then you can connect your print suppliers. So here you can see we have Printify connected as well. Now, for this example, we are going to be creating an ornament, or I should say 25 ornaments, in just a few clicks. Now, the first thing we need to do is set up kind of our initial base template for the product. So we are going to come over to our product catalog and look for the category. Now this is going to look a lot like the Printify catalog. So you can see here all the different categories that you might see. So we're gonna be looking for ornaments. All right, so we are going to be using the ceramic decoration ornament from Swift POD. And this has incredibly high print quality. And it also has a lower price with Printify Premium than some of the other ornaments. So we are going to simply hit start designing. Now from here, it's going to give us the option to connect to Canva to automatically bring in our design. So I am going to do that. I'm going to hit add from Canva and I'm going to be using this first design here and I'm going to select page one. I'm going to import my PNG and I'm also going to make sure it is transparent. So from here, your design is going to be uploading until it shows up on the ornament design. And here we have it. So no downloading the files to get this first one started, which is amazing. Now from here, you can kind of tweak it however you want. Now what's important to remember is however you tweak this first one, this is how it's going to apply to the bulk upload that you are about to do. The next thing I want to do for this one is I am going to be adding a personalization to this one. So I am going to add the year on here. And for this, I want to do let's say 2025, 
and I am going to be selecting personalized. Now, this is really important because when this comes over from Etsy as an order, you want it to be checked personalized so that you can include the customer's personalization. And then I am going to be selecting a font. Anywhere POD has a ton of really amazing fonts, and you can also bring in your own fonts as well. Okay, so I've selected my font. I'm going to make this color the same as the screen. And so you can use this nifty little color dropper here and it's going to do that. So you can see our design has been added here to a Printify mock-up, which is great. But now I want to add some mock-up templates here. So I'm gonna select add new mock-up template and I'm going to upload my blank mock-up. I've selected my mock-up file and I am going to hit save and continue. And now you're going to see your mock-up pop up here. And this is where you can arrange it, how you see fit. And again, this is how it's going to be applied to every design you bring in for this product. So you want to make sure it's exactly where you want it and that it looks realistic. Okay. And the other thing you can do here is you can simply lower the opacity a little bit and you just hit save custom mock-up. So now I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna add the rest of my mock-ups and then we are gonna get moving to the bulk upload tool. Okay, so we have added all of our mock-ups here. If you click on select mock-ups, you can see the mock-ups we added. We also added some brand photos here and you can simply select the images that you would like to pick. So you can also pick which one you want to be your primary image that shows up on Etsy. And so we are going to hit save. All right, so we have our mock-up selected and we can start filling in some of the listing details that we want to carry over into our other products. One important thing is going to be our price. So if we are pricing these at $18.99, we want to include that. So then for every one of the bulk upload listings, that price is going to carry over. And we can also include our title and tags here if you want, or you can also do those over in Etsy, which is your preference, totally up to you. So I am going to go ahead and write my title and tags. Okay, so using some of the research I have done on this niche, I have put together my title and my tags down here. I've added my personalization. I have my mockups in place. Now it is time to go over to our bulk upload. So we have here a Canva file with 25 different designs on here. So I'm going to go ahead and for the bulk upload, we have to download these. So I am going to download those and then I'm going to bring them back over into Anywhere POD. Okay. So now that I have this kind of template down, what I am going to do is hit the bulk upload button here. And from here, it's going to give me the option to upload my files. So I'm going to choose the other 24 designs that I've created. All right, so I've picked the other 24 designs and you can see them all loaded here. And what's really neat is it's going to give you the option to go ahead and edit your titles here. But I mentioned that Anywhere POD connects with OpenAI and I am going to actually help generate my titles and tags based on each of the careers or degrees listed in these ornaments. So I'm gonna select generate with AI and I'm going to adjust the prompt settings. Now for this one, I want to actually keep the same title structure and tags that I use, but I want it to replace it with the career or the degree in that ornament. All right, so I'm gonna ask it, please keep the same title and tags as in the original design, but apply the career or degree in the design and replace veterinarian or vet. Now, if you have a keyword data file, like from another keyword tool, you can also upload that here. And then I am going to hit generate. All right, so now it has generated titles and descriptions and tags for each of these designs using that original structure that I gave it an outline, but it is now taking the word from the new design and putting it in here. So you can see it replaced veterinarian with doctor. It replaced veterinarian with physician and so on and so forth. The other cool thing is you can also edit these tags and descriptions in here. So if it is giving you something that you don't like or are not keywords you want to use, you can also replace them with the ones they recommend down here or other ones that you have researched yourself. But you can edit all of these here in this window. And after you have done that, then you are going to hit submit. And now 
on your products page, you are going to see all 24 of those extra designs populating into new product listings. And this will take a couple minutes for all of them to load. But what is incredible is it's going to be applying all of that information that we just put together, all the mock-ups, everything is going to be done for you. So you are not having to go and create mock-ups in Canva, download them for each of these designs, upload them into Etsy. It's all being done right here in Anywhere POD while you sit back and have a sip of your coffee. And while we wait for those to load, and before the big reveal of our 25 products we created in just a few minutes, it is time for this week's coffee and cha-chings. This week's question is, can I really be successful on Etsy if I only have a few hours per week to commit? And I really love this question because I always like to remind people that you can't compare your journey to anyone else's. Everyone's Etsy journey and shop is unique and different depending on the circumstances that they're coming into this with. Some people are gonna come in with design experience. Some are gonna come in with business experience. Some are going to come in with a full plate of a full-time job and kids or other responsibilities. And so everyone's independent journey is going to look very different. Is it possible to be successful with just a few hours a week? Absolutely. And tools like I'm showing you today, this bulk upload tool can help you be more efficient with your time that you do have. Now, if you only have a few hours per week to commit, may your progress be slower than others who have tons of hours to commit to this? Of course, but it doesn't mean that you can't be successful. And what's most important is what you do with that time. Instead of just sitting and watching YouTube video after YouTube video, it's taking action while you're watching those YouTube videos. It's giving yourself tangible goals every day to commit to, to be able to put listings out and move the needle forward. And then it's also investing in tools like this, where you can do more with the time that you do have. So it is absolutely possible to be successful in a short amount of time every week. It's just a matter of how you make use of that time. And that's this week's coffee and cha-chings. Don't forget to post your question in the comments below so I can answer your question in an upcoming segment. All right, so we are back in here and our products are loading. So now we are going to want to come in and just make any final edits that we have with our product. But what we can see is that what is so cool is our mock-ups are already here. Our primary mock-up is selected. What I love the most is that my personalization is already on there. Sometimes you might have to tweak it a little bit depending on the design, but it's already in there. Your tags are already in there. The only thing left to do is if you would like to generate a listing video, you can select generate listing video, select the images you would like in the listing video, and you can go ahead and generate that video before you select create new Etsy listing to push it over to your Etsy shop. And just like that, we have 25 high quality listings where we did not have to download mockups or create these individual listings on our own. We used Anywhere POD's bulk upload tool to be able to do that in just several clicks. So to wrap us up, why does this bulk upload tool matter? Well, for people like me that maybe you have kids or other things going on in your life, you're time is precious. So being able to do this administrative work in a matter of minutes instead of hours can mean a difference in sales for your shop. It gives you more time for creativity. It gives you more time to put emphasis on the things that push your shop forward, like researching and design and really being able to invest in the things that equal more sales. And honestly, if I never have to download a mock-up again, it will be too soon. So if you've been putting off uploading listings, if you have tons of designs sitting in your drafts, Anywhere POD's bulk upload tool can help you get unstuck. It can help you scale faster. You don't need more hours in the day. You just need smarter tools and more efficient systems to use that time more wisely. And since I know how valuable your time is and you've waited around to the end of this video, if you look in the show notes, I'm going to be giving you 30 days free from my friends at Anywhere POD, along with a free personalization workshop to show you how you can use personalization 
in Anywhere POD to grow your sales in your Etsy shop. I'm going to link that below in the show notes for you along with that 30 day free promo code so that you can try this bulk upload tool today in your Etsy shop. And if you enjoyed today's video showing you how you can make the most use of your time when it comes to your Etsy shop using Anywhere POD, go ahead and like or subscribe below. Your time is valuable and being able to create your Etsy listings in minutes means gold for you and your Etsy shop. I would love to hear, have you used this bulk upload tool or do you plan on trying it? I'll see you next week in our next video.